Okay, the art of pissing off a Giganotosaurus. He's mad. There he comes. Yeah. Oh shit! <laughs> He's flying down the mountain. Well, welcome back, everybody, to Ark Survival Ascendant. I'm an old guy, gaming, and in this episode, we are going to go ahead and do a mind wipe and make all of our saddles. Uh, I've done another one or two more runs-ish uh, in the ice cave, and I found another Uterinus, um blueprint, which wasn't quite as good as the one that I had found previously, uh, but, but I did not find another Therizino, and I think it's time for us to just move forward because it's time. I really want to get our Gamma Army going uh, on the bosses. And, you know, I'm calling this the Gamma Army because that's what I've designed it for, but if we go in and just tear... The Gamma Boss is a new one, even with this army. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Um, I do know that Gamma Broodmother is much more dangerous than she was in Survival Evolved. Maybe even arguably as dangerous, as, uh, as dangerous if not more so, uh, than Alpha Dragon. Um, so, yeah, there is that. But if they do really well, say, like against Gamma Mega Pithecus, we might pit them against Alpha Mega Pithecus and just see how that goes. Anyway, uh, let's see. Just a couple quick things to get you updated on. I finally, finally, finally found a shot, a pump shotgun, decent pump shotgun blueprint in the swamp cave. And as you can see, we also found a Rex saddle blueprint. I already have... Um, I think this is the one, yeah, I think this is the one we had before, so we, we found that, which is, which is nice. I found this one too, of course. Um, yeah, I'm not, um, uh, actually looking at the clip as I record this, so I, I think that, that we pulled the 125 out, which is really cool. Uh, oh, speaking of which, I finally, and I, I kid you not, you guys, I finally found a high-level Rex. The very first one since we tamed a chomp so many episodes ago. Uh, here's some quick footage for that. So yeah, unfortunately, her stats kind of sucked. Um, Chomp's uh, uh, important stats were actually a little bit better than hers, but you know it's a start uh, because high level Rexes, uh, at least on my uh, in my game, have are, are so ultra rare. You know we're we're gonna start now. I, I'm my plan for the Rexes is to is to start breeding them. I'm not necessarily gonna use them for bosses unless. We really find out, you know, that the theories can't do very well against Megapithecus. But we also can use Rexes, strong Rexes, in the tech cave, you know, when the time comes too. So that, so I am planning on actually, um, you know, uh, breeding them for, for the tech cave if for no other reason. Okay, so let's see here. Um, yeah, all right, so we need Mind Wipe. Yes, we do. Uh, do I have any made up already? I do not. Okay, so 
We're going to want to make two of these, of course. So what do we need to make Mind Wipe Tonic? We need all of that stuff. So let's put uh, the Cooked Prime. We've already got the berries. We've got the stimulant or no. Uh, well, we need both stimulant and narcotic, but it looks like we have enough. We might, mm, we might need just a tiny bit more stimulant. Let's throw some of that over here. Wild flowers we're going to need. Throw some of those in. Uh, there's more beehives on our, our second barn tree and another one close by. Some, you know, because we're going to need to make a whole bunch of, of veggie cakes too before we do boss fights. So that's coming up high on the list. But of course, that's probably off camera stuff there. And yeah, I think that's everything we need to make a couple mind wipes. So let's do it. Um, and then yeah, I've uh, I had to do some more hide farming because with the change up of the slightly better Therizino saddle blueprint, it it bumped up our our hide uh, requirement. But I believe I now have uh, everything I need to make all of the stuff that we need to make. All right, turn that off. We'll put uh, the important perishable items back in the fridge. And all right, I think we're ready to do this. Okay, we've unlearnt everything that we have learnt, uh, just like Yoda would say. We, he's, he's approved. And uh, let's put everything into crafting scale. Here we go. Beautiful. Okay, so that gets us up to 1140% crafting. Alrighty, so let's start off with the Uteranus saddle. Um, so we want to grab the 187. I hope I did the math right on all this. <laughs> We're going to find out. Um, and okay, so we got to make actually make that in here. All right, so 187 is its base value. Let's roll the dice and see if we get something significantly better. 250. Okay, I'll take it. I will take it. Very nice. So 39.1% bonus from our crafting skill okay I, I can only afford to make one of those so whatever we got was what we got but i'll i'll take that i can't complain no siree bob okay so let's put this blueprint back um let's do our therizino next uh and we're doing the 111 and we need to make 19 of these and, and again i I can't afford to make any more than that, so whatever we get is what we get. So let's go ahead and craft 19 of these Therizino saddles and see what we we come up with. Okay, so yeah, I'm I'm a little disappointed. Uh, th those numbers over overall are a little lower than I'd like them to be. Uh, this 155 is the highest, so we got a 50% crafting skill bonus on that, and the lowest was I think the first one that popped out, which is this 117, which is seriously lame, only 6.9%. But you know, it's it's a total RNG thing. So this is what we got to work with. Um, I don't think these are alpha capable saddles, but we'll see. We'll just see how things go. So I'm going to continue running that ice cave uh, every chance I get and continue looking for a higher, higher level Therizino blueprint. Okay, so that takes care of that. Now we need to make uh, two Basilosaur uh, blueprint or saddles, sorry. Uh, I don't have any weight points into weight, so I'm not going to be able to carry much of that. So let's put this back in here and... We have, this is our only Basilosaur blueprint. And we need two of these. All 
Okay, so we got a 94 and an 87. 94 was 40%, and that was 25%. Fair enough. We'll put that back. Um, next, we need to make um, a mega saddle. Uh, no, we need to make eight mega saddles. Oh, we can only craft six. Oh, shit. Okay, well, let's make six. 169, 188, 190. So the one, the 190's the best. That was a 51%. Okay, what are we short on? Oh, I was going to say, we've got to have enough hide, man. Absolutely have to have enough. I've been farming that like crazy. So we made six. We need two more. Um, we got a, wait, yeah, we got a 190, 51.6. I don't know, maybe we had that before. Okay, so that takes care of the Megalodon saddles. While we're still in mind wipe mode, or I should say crafting skill mode, um, we could, we've got a pretty good long neck already. Uh, wait, no, I need to look at Brew. Uh, the long neck that we're currently using is 449%. It's just amazing. Um, oh, you know what? We, yeah, we ought we to make, let's see if we can make one, another shotgun. Uh, that, with that Mastercraft blueprint. So, long neck. Yeah, so I got a 382 there. You know, we could actually pop something out that's even better than what we have. You know what we have is so amazing though? I, I don't think I want to waste resources on that. But this I would like to because you know I have a couple of ascendant shotguns but they're not very high level. See this is only 267. This is only 10 points higher than the base of the you know of this guy. Um, no actually yeah I, I did I think I have another Ascend shotgun. Uh, yeah, I do, but it's it's also just 247, so. All right, so yeah, let's see if... What what would you need? You'd need smitting paste, polymer. Uh, do I have enough metal left for that? Oh, yeah, we got enough metal for sure. Let's grab all the Akatina paste back and put it back in here. Okay, so that takes care of the smitty paste, the polymer, or the other. Um, do I have enough organic polymer? Oh, yeah, we do. I have quite a bit. A good chunk of that's come from just putting stuff in the grinder. The grinder's just really nice to have. Okay, so let's roll the dice on this. I can only afford to make one. Come on, baby, give me something good. We've got some really, really nice riot gear armor too, but it's just, it's too damned expensive. 336, okay. Ooh, I could make another one. Uh, what's the percentage on this? 49.6%. durability. I'm not worried about the paste or the polymer. I mean the metal. It's the polymer that's that's the pain in the butt. Do I want? Okay, hold on. Before we before we commit to that, we could. I I really like the pike so much better than the sword. Um, and I have I got a three twenty two actual pike. What are my blueprints for that? So, you know, even if we did get a 50% crafting bonus on that, it's still not going to match my 516% sword. The only reason I hang on to that sword is because it's the damage on it is just outstanding. I can't not have it, you know what I mean? <laughs> This pike would be cheap to make, though. 
Yeah, let, let's make it once. Let's just see what happens. 432. Uh, with, yeah, 47% crafting bonus. You know, that's close enough that I think I think we're going to actually use that instead of the, the sword. Just because, again, I, I just like the pike much better. I like it because of its reach and its AoE. And I don't like the attack animation of the sword. Uh, plus, I don't even think the sound works right on it either, unless they fixed that recently. I don't know. Okay, yeah, that was cool. If we looked at our riot gear, these pieces are so expensive. Oh, yeah, see, that, that sucker's going to cost me almost 4,000 poly. I, there's no way I can make that. I'm going to have to have, like, a day of nothing but organic polymer farming to afford to make something like this. Either that or just, you know, mine up all the upsetting on the entire map and make, you know, normal poly. And that's just for the chest piece. Oh, my God. Oh, geez. Okay. Yeah, that stuff's so expensive, too. Um, What about flak? Our best chest blueprint is this one. Um, and that's n relatively inexpensive. Our best legs are this one. Uh, there's our best feet. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know if I'm going to have enough metal to make all of those. Hands. And I, I've already got really good riot hands just you know that i just have the thing i don't like about the riot gear is it's just so expensive to repair compared to the flak though too you know um but we're we're sporting 625 armor there it looks like when i made these i wasn't in crafting mode these i think we just looted so what we could do is we could throw those in the grinder to get a percentage of that metal back in order to make that armor. Um, I don't care if I run myself completely out of metal because I'm going to have to go get more no matter what. So that's not a big deal to me at, at the moment. I want to take advantage of our, uh, you know, of our, our crafting skills at the moment while we have them. Let's pull that back out of here. Uh, oh, okay. So... Let's throw the chest and the legs in. Okay, let's make the legs. Whew, 1,274. That is just amazing. Okay, let's make the chest. What, is, what did we get? We got a 32% skill bonus on that. Oh, lame. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm still getting over this bronchitis. My wife and I have been sick with for the last freaking two weeks and a half. Well, maybe not two weeks and a half. Seems like it. Anyway, um, we got we got point three percent. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh man, that is so lame. All right, you know what we're gonna do? We could make those. Yeah, let's roll the dice on those. Uh, we got twenty one percent. Okay, that's decent. That's decent. What I want to do then is, um, how much metal do we need for this? We need to come up with about 700-ish more metal to, ma to make one more of those. Okay, I think we can probably make that work. Let's, um, let's put these away. I'm not going to make the helmet. Can't afford to. Uh, we got really good good pants though okay so let's take and put you in there and you in there and you and you because we got improved boots and leggings okay so we're looking for about 700 ish or so metal Shit, that gave us 600 metal. Really? We're shy about six, about a little over 100. 
Uh, okay. What else can we melt down? <laughs> um, I try and keep, you know, I don't have like 10 of, of the same kind of thing. Okay, we can melt that sniper rifle down for sure. Um, let's melt down this lower level pick. I don't need that many rocket launchers. I made way more than I needed to. We don't need this long neck. Um, oh, I'm already overweight. Those guys are heavy. Okay. That gave us 255 more metal. That should be enough. All right, game, don't screw me this time. Seriously? Well, two times in a row we've gotten point three percent. What? <laughs> what the hell? Okay, well, we're done. <laughs> we're done. I, I mean, I can't complain over... Well, I, I, I kind of want to complain a little bit about the Therizino saddles, man. That's, those were the most important, and we didn't get very good rolls overall, but it is what it is. We'll make it work. We will make it work. Okay. So I think that's it for our crafting. Uh, oh, I guess I never melted this down. It gave us a little more poly there. Come on, open up. Open up your inventory. Poly fridge. Uh, to my knowledge... The Akatina, I think, is the only vanilla creature, or the only way into vanilla, period, that you can preserve uh, or increase the spoil timer on organic polymer. Now, I know S Plus and Evolved did it for you in the fridge, but, you know, we're not using S Plus, so just a little FYI for anybody that may not know that. Okay, well, this is our stuff. Oh, my goodness. This stuff, you guys, uh, along with this... Which, actually, I'm pretty happy with this because, you know, we got a, almost a 50% bonus. I cannot complain about that. Uh, but that represents a, about two solid days in real life of of grinding. And I also, I even went in and bumped the gather rate up to five, times five because normally I have it on times three because it's just, it was taking so damn long. And even with that, that's that represents two, <laughs> two days of grinding. Oh, my God. I mean, hopefully I, I, I won't lose my entire sea army again because, you know, that took a big chunk out of everything we ne we needed to do. And, you know, just the flak armor and the shotgun, that was just kind of extra that I hadn't really planned for. But there you go. Okay, so um, I'm going to well, – let's just do this right now. We're going to have to put our levels back. Um, we want this to be 500. We want fortitude to be 50. Um, I don't remember if I put any points into stamina or not. I think I may have had that to 150. So yeah, let's just take it to 150. And I think, I don't think I'm gonna put anything into melee damage. Um, so everything else I think is going to go into weight. There we go. Okay, so we got our points back. And we're damn near dead. <laughs> okay, so... Um, next order of business is to fit our saddles on all of our theories. And then we're going to take them out and we're going to do some wild leveling. Uh, and just kind of have some fun with that. Also, we might... Uh, over on Farce Peak, which is way the hell over that way, up in the north east corner of the map, by our eastern sea base, in fact, we have, um, there's a Giga on that mountain. I think it was a level 15 or something like that. We do need to kill another Giga, and we could sick our Gamma Army on it, because if our Gamma Army can't kill a level 15 wild Giga, then I don't think it's going <laughs> to, it's worth its salt. It will, though. We, I'm sure it will. 
Um, if we're going to do that, though, I, I'd like to actually make some veggie cakes for them, too. But otherwise, I just want to kind of take them out and have them just tear up the countryside and, you know, get some levels uh, on them. They have their health levels, but they still need their melee levels. So let me get situated, and then uh, we'll show some of that on camera. And uh, so I'll be back here in just a little bit. Hey, guys, before we go take the theories out, I figured since I'm starting to think about now making veggie cakes, um, there's a couple beehives close by. Let's, let's go ahead and increase our honey production. Um, so there should be one back on this tree. It's funny that they... Yeah, there it is. It's funny that they spawn on a tree. There's two up there. You know, that they spawn on a tree that has um, a structure on it. Very interesting. Okay. Let's do a right click first just to get the honey. And then um, I'm going to take some of this. Okay. We're going to do one of these at a time. Got to kill off those guys. All right, now, where did the queen go? Oh, she's right there. Okay. So we're just going to have to wait for her to fly off and then get down lower so we can... Hey, no, she's going higher. Lower, B. Ooh. Hmm. I don't like the idea of her flying into my yard with my dinos all on patrol. Oh, man, don't go out over the river. Oh, shit. We just lost render distance. I don't even know where she's at now. Oh, there she is. Okay. Oh, she's coming down. Okay. Everybody be real quiet. Nice. Okay. So, as usual, we're just going to turn her right on into a hive. Okay, that went okay. I was a little concerned about it going into our yard there. Come over here. Over here, Mama Bee. Ah, oh, shit. She detected me. I can't so believe she detected me, man. I had frickin' bug spray on and everything. Alright. I think she's... Where'd she go? Yeah, come right to me. Come right to me. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. Get those set up, and then I'll meet you guys down on the river when we're ready to take the army out. All right, guys, I think we're ready to do this. I have, um, 10, 11. I think I have 11 fairies following me and Big Bird. Um, you can only have a total of 12 tracked critters at a time, and so we have... With um, Seahawk here, we, we have 12. So, we're getting greeted by the bears here. Let's get everybody outside of the thing. I don't have anybody on neutral yet, and I don't want to whistle neutral until we get a little further away from the base. Okay. So let's uh, get the gate closed, and I think our plan is we're gonna we're gonna go up along the uh, we're gonna go up along this river, circle around here. The Giga is somewhere right about last time I saw it, anyways, was right around on that slope. We'll pull it. Good gravy! Come on, man. Uh, 
Um, we'll pull the gig down to the shore, kill it, and then take the gang probably cross country ish. We could maybe go through the swamp, I suppose. There'll be a lot of stuff to kill. Um, up to the green obby, and then hopefully they will be leveled enough to where we can leave this batch there, and then we come back and get another batch and do something similar. Uh, that's the tentative plan anyways. We'll see how this goes. Um, I'm not going to bother trying to put them in a, a train because at the end of the day, they're going to get all clustered up anyways, and I'm just going to give them t attack commands and let them go to it. So that's the plan. We'll see how things go here. Uh, let's also... Uh, let's put Big Bird on auto courage. So here and turret mode. Where's auto courage at? Copy. Enable turret mode. Um, I don't. I don't know where the setting is. Harvest setting. To put these, uh, put it on auto turret or auto courage. Isn't there supposed to be an option for that? Oh, I wonder if it's because I'm. Not, oh, yeah. You know what? I think you have to be in PVE mode for that to actually show up. Pretty sure that's what that means. Enable turret mode. I'm not exactly sure what this means. I think it means if if he's standing guarded and something comes in range, he'll fear it. Yeah, okay, so... um, That's fine, whatever. We're, we're just out here leveling. When we do the actual boss fights, I'm going to be riding him and controlling all that anyway. So, it's good. Um, just hope I don't lose any of these. I'm sure glad we have this tracking option. For sure. Okay. Let's put everybody into neutral. So that way they can start attacking stuff. And, you know, after, after a while, probably what we'll do is we'll, you know, we'll just check their levels. And we might actually need to ride on a few of them uh, because you know they all have to attack and they all have to get the kills to get the XP so some of them will some of them won't in cluster mode but we'll start with this mode and then we'll adjust as needed okay so um, let me look at something here yeah no I, I was wondering about maybe going the other direction but that's just going to be too complicated to do over land. So let's start going down this way and we'll start looking for targets of opportunity. There's a couple of fairies over here. That's a level 80 and a 135. Wow. Hmm. Nah. I think we'll... Uh, we're not going to go after a 135. If it was a 145... I'd seriously think about it. If it was a 150, I would definitely do something. So, yep, that's pretty much it. We're just going to go tear up the countryside. Um, so, let's see here. Let's put these away for the moment. And I'm going to go out on a limb here and say they're all stuck. Oh, actually, no, they're not. Um, I used the move to command, which caused them to stop following. Okay, let's have everybody follow. And here we go. Ah, 
I did see an Alpha Rex in the swamp. Um, kind of to the south of the, the Redwoods. The only problem with, you know, bringing these guys into the swamp is it's just going to... They're going to be so prone to getting stuck in there. The, so I'm not real crazy about that idea. It'd be nice to find some alphas too. They're usually all over the place. And no game, I'm not looking for alphas, so don't even think about it. Got to use a little reverse psychology there. Alright, we got a brawl going on across the river there. And we got a Carno here. There's an Alpha. Why are you guys not attacking? There we go. I think they're a little gimped up because they're in the water. There, now they have a direct attack. Okay, that's better. Got a Mega Ethereum over here. Level 20. Okay, now let's go. Let's go get mixed up in this brawl over here. Got a couple Rexes. Some Brontos. That Rex is getting wrecked. <laughs> Oh, that's my fault. I forgot to tell him to start following me again. Let's go! What level is that, Rex? It's uh, 75. Okay. Oh, we got an Alpha Carno. Nice. 95, Rex. Okay, let's get this Alpha Carno here. Level 45, nice. Another Alpha Carno. Excellent. Okay. Let's go this way. I just realized I have um, Big Bird on ignore whistles, which is exactly how I want him to be during the boss fights. But let's go ahead and let him get in on the action too, because he has a couple more levels he could get. Plus he'll, I think he'll he'll do his roars and stuff too. Okay, we got another Rex down the way here. What kind of level are we looking at here? Seventy-five. And they're off.
Okay, let's do a quick uh, roll call here. And the easiest way to do that is just get close to them and make sure everybody's within, you know, 10, 11, 15 meters or whatever of us. And they are. All right, so everybody's here. And I'm stuck. Okay. Go that way, everybody. Okay, now follow me. I am... Uh, when we do the Broodmother too, by the way, I'm planning on dividing the army up into three groups. We'll have a main group that'll take her head on. Um, there's another Alpha Karna. And then I'm going to send... Um, two Alpha Karnals. Wow. Uh, I'll send a second group to the left flank and a third group to the right flank to try and surround her. What? Is that also an Alpha Karnal? How did we miss that? Must have been up in the woods. Okay, yeah, let's go kill this one first. Uh, you know, that way we can try and surround Broodmother because I've watched a couple of fights, uh, other YouTubers doing it, and... They kind of get jammed up around her, and you're not getting your maximum damage capacity. And considering how hard she is, you need every advantage you can get, you know? Got a couple of stragglers over here. They're probably stuck on something. And let's do a quick uh, health check on them too, which we'll use the tracking menu for. And we might as well, since we're gonna do that, um, everybody move there. Uh, we should get there. Get them some levels too, and then we're gonna go after the two Alpha Carnos that are across the river there. Okay, let's check health. You're banged up a little bit, but not too bad. You are too. Thought about carrying a date on in Seahawks claws just to heal him. You know, that's actually not a bad idea. I could run back and grab one real quick. That wouldn't be that big of a deal. Okay. Well, let me get these guys separated and get their levels on them. You have 12 levels. Nice. Okay, so that gets you up to 568. Um, yeah, they're going to be collecting wooden stuff. Normally I'd turn that off, but we need um, we need to replenish <laughs> our stuff after we spent so much. I'm not going to do this on camera. I'll, I'll, I'll take care of all that inventory stuff off camera. Um, all right, well, yeah, let me get these guys uh, their levels... And then I think I am going to run back to the base on the bird and just grab a date on and carry the date on with me uh, to do the heals. So I'll bring you back here uh, in just a few minutes. Okay, guys, we're back. Um, I changed my mind. <laughs> it took me way longer just to sort out that little bit of inventory, you know, from that little foray we've already had. Uh, so I basically turned off both victim and item collection, uh, which is the way you want them on, you know, your boss titles anyways for the actual boss fights at least in ASA. Uh, so, yeah, it's just what's going to happen is they're going to collect too much stuff that's going to slow them down. It's going to slow me down by trying to deal with it. So it's turned off, and I'll gather up the stuff I need when it's time to gather up the stuff I need. But look at that. We got another Alpha Cardo and a Bronto that we could take out. So everybody follow me, and let's go do this. And I'll just... 
carry the pig with me and then when we need to stop and have a heel break or whatever we'll do it at that point go get him okay get the pronto that didn't take long get the diplo All right, everything's getting wrecked. So, um, we've got a Rex across the river and a Alpha Carnal there. I thought I saw two Alpha Carnals across the river, so maybe there is another one further inland. But let's go after this Rex here. Might as well take out the Megatherium too. Rex is a bit bloody. In that particular case, the term isn't get wrecked, it's get dissolved. Absolutely annihilated that dude. Of course, it was already partially damaged too. All right, all good, let's go. The theories seem to be able to path a little bit better than the berries. It, may, it might just be because of their size, I don't know, but they uh, seem to be having a little bit less trouble with them than I do with the berry onyx. That Carno, uh, two Alpha Carnos. They went across the river because they knew we were coming for them. There's Zeno over here. It's level 60, and that alpha is a level 50. But let's go get this other one first. The game keeps spawning alphas along the river. We just stay here and do all the leveling. We gotta eventually get that Giga and get them to Green Obby though too, so we can't stay here the whole time. Big Bird got him. All right, cool. He's got his victory roar going on there. Let's go after this other Alpha Carno. Um, I'm still debating whether or not I want to try and find that Alpha Rex. Um, it was it was quite a long time ago that I saw it too, though, so who knows where the hell it is now. It's theoretically still alive. I don't think there's too many things that can kill an Alpha Rex. I'm sure a Wild Giga could, but th there's no Wild Gigas around here. Oh, that's an Alpha Raptor. Yeah, it'd be worth killing too, most likely. And it looks like I think that's an Archie and not a Micro Raptor. I don't know why my sometimes my attack this target button doesn't seem to work very well. Okay, we got a couple dudes hung up over here. I put F in the name for female and M in the name for male. And the reason I do that, by the way, the reason I want to know is so that I'm making sure I have a good mixture of males and females for the mate boost. In case anybody was curious. Okay, so... Let's uh let's check levels really quick. So you got one level. You've got one level. This is kind of fun. It's it's it gets a little boring eating babies after a while. <laughs> that sounds terrible, but it's <coughs> a true story. So going out and just kind of giving them their head, so to speak. I know that that's not a terrible. Uh, uh, an appropriate thing to say these days, but it doesn't mean that. For those of you who may not know, 
uh, when you talk about giving an animal its head, like a horse and specifically, you're basically letting go of the reins, um, or at least loosely hanging onto them and letting them run free. That's, that's what that actually means. For those of you dirty-minded perverts out there. Anyway, um, <laughs> uh, well, let's uh, give you some levels. All right, you're you're gonna be stuck. More levels for you. Nice. Big Bird's a little bit banged up. Yeah, uh, definitely gonna need to do some heals on him, and I can't get him loose at the moment. What about you? Can I get you loose? Here we go. All right, you got a level. Um, I probably should... You didn't get any levels. Okay. Should, let's put you on passive healing so you can at least start doing a little bit of heals. You got one level. Nice. I did put you on passive healing, right? I don't know why you're not healing. Come here, come here. There you go. Okay. Okay, let's get these guys healed up. Uh, all right, guys, we are, we're definitely running out of time in this episode, so, but I sort of kind of promised you a gigafight if we can find it, you know, that is. So I'm going to cut the camera here. I'm going to just keep doing this and working my way up to Fars Peak. When we get there, I'll bring you back, um, and we'll look for the giga and see if we can pull it down before we actually wrap up the episode. We're going to stop off at the Eastern Sea Base, too, because I have... Uh, those two Basilosaur uh, saddles to drop off there. All right, so I'll see you guys in a little while. All right, guys, we are at the Eastern Sea Base here. Um, so what we're going to do is leave uh, everybody here. And go scouting for that Giga and then... Uh, assuming I can find it, and if I can, you know, then we'll have to determine what the best course of action is. I haven't done any more work on this base uh, since the last episode we did, but we'll, we definitely will be working on it some more. I just really want to get going on our boss, a gamma boss fights first. Uh, so that's kind of, you know, what I've been prioritizing. Okay. Jerry Mathers, get over here. Bassies, get over here. Okay, so you are Pepper 2. So we'll give you that saddle. And I think um, Ghost 2 is over on the other side. Here he is. Okay, we'll have to get those guys, guys and gals leveled up um, on another, another day. Let's get Pepper over here. There it is. Kind of black in color. Okay, so we might be able to pull it right down this draw to that little island there, which is, you know, our base is over to where all of our guys are. So now that I know where it is, let's let's do that. Let's get our guys down the shore a little ways. And then um, if all goes well, yeah, maybe we can just pull it straight down this draw here. What level is it again, by the way? By the by, it, uh, oh, it's only level 10. Okay, even better. You don't want to mess around with wild gigas, man. They are no joke. There's a Rex. Level 85. Oh, 
Okay, so we have 10 fairies and 25 veggie cakes. So that means we're going to give the front row three cakes each. Um, is there an ichthy around here? I've got some expensive shit on, man. If a Nicky stole something out from me and ate it, I would be furious right now. No, those are just Pelagornis. Okay. And then everybody in the back row gets two because the theory is they don't take the brunt of the attack or at least the initial attack. We all know in actuality, though, it's just going to be a big clusterfuck, so it isn't going to matter at all. But we'll pretend like we're being as prepared as we can be. Okay, so those guys are set up. Um, right. Okay. Now, if I can manage it, I don't know how I'm going to do this. Because, I mean, you know, assuming the Giga follows me off the hill in the first place, which is in and of itself quite the assumption, as soon as it sees these guys, it's just going to go ape shit. Um, meanwhile, you know, I'm going to be on the bird and stuff, so I just don't know how I'm going to get to the Uteranus. All right, well, let's see if we can pull this Giga off the mountain. You guys ready for this? I sure hope so, because it's coming. Well, again, assuming I can get it off the mountain. Okay, the art of pissing off a Giganotosaurus. He's mad. Don't tell me he's stuck. Mm, I think he's stuck. There he comes. Yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> he's flying down the mountain. Oh, man, this is scary. I hope I didn't just condemn my army to die. Of course, we do that every time we go into friggin' boss arena, huh? Um... Come on, brah. Yeah, see, getting him to path straight down through here might uh, be a bit of a challenge. Down this way. Come on, man. You want to come down this way? You know you do. Pretty gnarly cliff right here. Popping him up a little bit. Oh, shit.
Did we get him to barrel down? Oh yeah, we did. Can't see shit. I wonder if I should have uh, tried to clear some of these trees first, but... Okay, let's, let's get you guys on neutral. And I'm also... Bird's a little bit banged up, eh? Um... Okay, let's get on you. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. Oh, no. No, go after the Giga, not the Pego. Get this guy. Here we go. It's do or die now, man. Oh, yeah, they're, they're tearing him a new one. Seahawk oh Seahawks in the mix. That's not good. Oh, we lost Seahawk right at the last second. Oh shit. I got lots more Seahawks. Not a big deal. <laughs> Actually it is a big deal. It kinda sucked. Okay, we did it, you guys. <laughs> we did it. Oh man, Seahawk had a bunch of shit on her too. Him. Her I don't know why I keep calling him hers. Okay. Well, um, I didn't, I didn't see who got the actual kill, um, and they're not doing item collection either, so that means we should see a bag with the Giga Heart. Yeah, right here. And we should see another bag with Seahawk's stuff in it. There's the heart. Uh, I guess we'll take that. Sorry, Seahawk. You served me so well. That's too bad. Um, here's here's his bag. I j it just you know everything happened so damn fast. I should have told it passive flee, but um, I just you know too many things to try and think about. And I am super heavy. Okay. Well, we got our, our second Giga Heart, so when the time comes for us to do Alpha Dragon, we'll have, we got that. In fact, I think we got everything we need in terms of tribute for Alpha Dragon. I mean, I've been killing Alpha Tusos and Alpha Moses left and right, so we got that. I don't know if that's, we need that for Alpha Dragon or for Tech Cave, but nevertheless, we got plenty of it, so. Uh, let's take a look at our army here and look at their health. Of course, the pig's been healing them. Yeah, they're they're damn near all the way healed back up. Okay, whichever one of these dinos got that giga kill has probably got a shit ton of XP. Uh, so I'm going to put... Yeah, we recovered Seahawks. Really good saddle, too. I know, I'm terrible. I'm worried about the saddle instead of the... Instead of the, the bird... Uh, okay, let's see if we can figure out which one of you got the kill. Okay, Soldier 7 has one point. Let, let me look again, because I thought I checked them all. I can't imagine the dino that got the killing blow didn't get a bunch of points for that. Of course, it only, I guess it was only a level 10 gig, but still. Yeah, see, none of these guys have levels. Hmm. I'm going to look back in the footage really quick and see who got the actual kill in. Okay, so the text that uh, flashed across the screen was the death message for Seahawk. It didn't ever say who killed it. But, wow, I, I would have thought we would have got some significant XP from that kill, but none of these theories have any levels. We, uh, theory 7 had one level. I should pull these cakes back off it. Of off you guys um 
We'll put them on here because I don't think the Uteranus will eat veggie cakes. So, yeah, I don't know, guys. Um, Maybe I'd give them the XP for a level 10 giga kill more credit than I should be. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. It was fun. A, B, we got our second heart, so it certainly was worth... So you got one point. Certainly worth doing, but I don't know. I was just expecting, you know, uh, some more, more points than that. But obviously, uh, unless well, I wonder. Hmm, I wonder if Seahawk got the killing blow and then immediately died because it happened almost simultaneously. Oh, that would suck. <laughs> That's the only thing I can think of, though. That's the only thing I can think of because... Oh, man. Can you believe that? I bet you that's what happened. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. You know, with, with these Therizinos, which are not fully leveled yet... Um, Don't you think I should have gotten more than one point from a level 10 Giga Kill? And, you know, maybe I did. And maybe Seahawk got it and then inst got Insta killed right afterwards oh man that bites it really does okay well anyway um it is time to wrap up this episode and uh, so the plan is is that i'm going to have these guys work their way to green obby which is right here um i might i might either take them kind of along through the swamp here or i might take them up through up and through here there's like a little meadow up there and we could kind of follow along through here to get there. And then once I get them there, um, then like I said, I'll just take them out one by one and continue leveling until each and every one of them has 700 melee. Uh, Big Bird is already fully leveled. Well, as leveled as I'm planning on getting him. Um, and, you know, most of the points I put into stamina for, for, for him. And he's got just that really amazing saddle too, so... He'll stay at the obby, and then I will go back to the base, grab the next batch of Therizinos. Keep in mind, too, I already have five Therys there that are already fully leveled. But I'll do more or less the same thing. I'll just take them out, and then we'll get them, take them the long way around to the green obby and level them along the way, and then get them finally leveled there. So it is quite possible. No promises. It just kind of depends upon how things go. Uh, but it is quite possible that we will um, be ready to do uh, Gamma Broodmother in the next episode. So, that is the tentative plan, but it's not the promised plan. We'll just have to see how things go. But guys, thanks very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Goodbye.